Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website, which is eight self improvement lessons that my um, clients have taught me over 31 years. Uh, my clients are those people who have hired me as a uh, family systems therapist and a trauma recovery therapist. I know a lot about both those subjects. Lesson four in my website <clears throat> has to do with improving the quality and the satisfaction of your relationships. What I want to do in this video is offer you some options that have occurred to me across many years about how can you make difficult relationship decisions. There are some tools that you can adopt that can help you do that. Um, would you agree in your own lifetime that you've been faced at times with some pretty tough relationship decisions as in who comes first? Uh, my mate or my job or my career? Who, who, who's more important to me? My sibling, my brother, my sister or my friend? Who do I really value the most? If I have to choose one, which one is more important to me? How about I have to choose between my own health because I'm overloaded and my needy parent? Who do you choose? What's the right choice? Short term, long term. How about this one? I have to choose between myself, my family, and my church. What's the right choice? These are not easy choices, as you know. You have your own version of these. Some people have relatively little trouble making such choices and feeling okay about them afterwards. If you are such a person, you don't need to see this video. The odds are you have had some degree of trouble making difficult relationship choices like these. If so, there are several things that are probably making it harder for you to make uh, decisions that you're comfortable with. Um, the first thing, often in my experience as a therapist, is people who have trouble deciding who waffle back and forth or say, I'm paralyzed or I can't decide. Such people often are ruled by a false self. If that means nothing to you, I invite you to study the videos relative to lesson one in my website. You'll learn about your personality, your subselves, personality subselves, and who's really running your life. Your true self, who is wise and makes good decisions all the time, or a well-meaning false self. Um, the second thing that often causes people, even if their true self is in charge, difficulty in making these decisions is lack of awareness. Awareness is a learned skill. My experience as a therapist has shown me a very high percentage of people in warp speed America at least uh, don't know how to be aware of what's going on inside of them and around them. If you want some ideas on how to grow your awareness in a healthy, safe way, see my video on increasing your awareness. As you practice and increase your awareness, there are some other things you can do to help yourself make tough relationship decisions that you feel good about later. Improve your awareness, and then use your awareness to decide who's in charge of me. When you're faced with a dilemma, a tough choice, make it a practice to decide who's in charge of me right now. Who's running my personality, my true self or my false self? If you don't know how to do that, see my Lesson 1 videos, which gives you a clear way of identifying when your true self 
is leading your personality. Make that a habit because you'll make your best relationship decisions when your true self is in charge. Another thing that can help, many people have been trained by society, by their church, by their parents, to put themselves second or put themselves last. A useful thing to do in all decisions, not just relationships, is to promote yourself to equal. Promote yourself, capital S, to equal. What I mean by that is overcome the old training that says I can't be selfish. Selfish with a little s means I put my own needs ahead of other people's needs and therefore I'm bad. That's little s selfish. I propose the second definition is big s selfish which says it is right and healthy for me to value my own needs as much as other people's needs. I'm going to promote myself to equal. How easy would it be for you to do that? Or have you already done that? If not, try it out and notice what happens. An important thing that can help you make tough relationship decisions is to meditate and get clear on what are your long-term priorities? What means the most to you overall, long term? I propose for most people, you'll do best if you put your integrity first before anything else. Anything. Integrity is a different way of saying self-respect. You have to be true to your own values before anything. So I suggest be at ease putting your integrity first, even if other people don't like it. Put your holistic health first alongside of that, your psychological, spiritual, physical health. Your integrity and your holistic health need to come first in all non-emergency situations. How do you feel about that? What are your inner voices saying? Gee, that's right. Oh no, we can't do that. Well, if you have inner voices like the second one, that is probably a false self. You have some work to do. See lesson one. So if you put your integrity and holistic health first, what's next? I propose, especially if you're a parent, if you're in a committed relationship, in a difficult relationship dilemma, put your primary relationship first, especially if you're a parent. Your kids need a stable, long-lasting, dependable adult relationship in their home environment for their best chance. Over half of our country can't achieve that, and kids are suffering because of it. So integrity first, primary relationship second, um, in non-emergencies, and everything else third. In order to, this sounds absurdly simple in a way, it's a guideline, it's not meant to be rigid black-white, but it's a suggested set of priorities. Another thing that you can do to make decisions between important relationships easier to make uh, and not suffer guilt and self-doubt and anxiety afterwards, before and afterwards, is learn about how what are values conflicts and how can you master them. I'm not going to repeat uh, some ideas I've offered on that, but I do urge you to see the brief video on what is a values conflict, is there a best way to resolve it, I propose yes. So if you teach yourself how to do that, and in a difficult relationship decision process, use what you learn about mastering values conflicts. The last tool that you can use, which is a powerful one, is the seventh of seven skills you'll find in lesson two in my nonprofit website. 
That skill is called problem solving, win-win problem solving. It is an alternative to avoiding, explaining, demanding, arguing, fighting, um, many other popular strategies. Win-win problem solving works on getting your needs and any other relationship in, you're concerned with, getting their needs met equally in a way that feels good to both of you. So, what I've tried to do here is outline a number of options, tools, resources, that you can adopt and make your own in order those times that life inevitably forces you to make a, make a decision between important relationships in your life. Here are some tools that you can acquire <clears throat> and grow and develop. Practice the art and skill of self-awareness. See my video exercise on how to do that. Check to see, make it a habit to check to see if your true self is right, uh, guiding your personality. If it's not, you have a bigger problem than making a relationship decision. See lesson one for more information on how to free your an excellent, wise, true self. Promote yourself to equal. Give yourself the attitude, unlike you may have had as a child, your needs and your values are just as important as anyone else. Promote yourself to equal. Clarify your long-term priorities. I propose putting your self-respect and integrity first with your holistic health, mental, psychological, spiritual health, then your primary relationship, then everything else, except in emergencies. Learn how to spot and master values conflicts. Learn how to do win-win problem solving. You put these tools together, what do you think? Would it be easier when you're faced with choosing between your child and your second mate, for instance, as many people do in step families. You think you'd have an easier time doing that? I hope you'll experiment with these, learn more about them, um, and enjoy the results. Uh, look for more information on a wider scale. Look at the videos relative to lesson four in my website, or look at all the videos relative to the website there are over a hundred of them now. There's lots to learn. Thanks for your attention.